Our topic for today is classification and today we are going to look at mainly animal kingdom. My teacher presenting it to you is teacher Ngobi Yusuf. You can talk to him by email ngobiwaithia at gmail.com or call 0757-5416-47. If, if you are outside Uganda, you can use a code plus 256. Kingdom Animalia. Kingdom Animalia. Organisms in this kingdom are called animals. Examples of animals include man, cow, gorilla, millipede, starfish, tortoise, python, crested crane, toad, cockroach, fish, and extra characteristics of animals animals feed on already made food they cannot make their own food they also do not have cell walls they are multicellular organisms they do not have chlorophyll so they cannot make their own food the of animal kingdom animal kingdom is divided into nine phyla but eight of them are for us uh, for invertebrates, invertebrates and those animals without backbone, and just one is for vertebrates, animals with backbone. These phyla include phylum chordata, phylum arthropoda, phylum platyhelminthes, phylum porifera, phylum. Colentrata, phylum, nematoda, phylum, anelida, phylum, molasca, and lastly, phylum, echino, damata. Let us start with phylum, porifera. Organisms in this phylum, porifera, are called porifernes. Are called porifernes. And uh, they include. Examples of peripheranes, we have sponges. This is a sponge, you can see it. And then, after seeing it well, very well, we shall state this DC characteristics. Characteristics of peripheranes. They possess simple bodies which are hollow they have only one opening in their bodies they are marine dwellers so they are found in salt water like ocean and the sea water they can live in colonies or individually they lack a nervous system they have a body made up of two layers of cells phylum nematoda phylum colentrata Organisms in Phelamocolentrata are called colentrates. Examples of colentrates we have sea anemone, we have hydra, we have jellyfish. Characteristics of Phelam colentrata. Organisms have single body opening. They possess specialized cells for stinging and for defense or paralyzing their prey, they have a ring of tentacles for capturing their prey. Characteristics Those are the characteristics of phylum colentrata, of organisms in phylum colentrata, which are called colentrates. Next phylum the phylum platyhelminth. Platymin is flat. Organisms in this phylum are also called flatworms. For example, tapeworm and liver fluke. Characteristics of flatworms they have a dorsal ventrally flattened body. So the upper part and the downer part of the bodies are flat. Another one, they are damp, moist, or aquatic dwellers. They live in wet, wet areas. 
they are parasitic organisms. The body wall has three body layers of cells. Phylum nematoda. This is a phylum for round worms. Organisms in this phylum are called nematodes. Examples of nematodes we have hookworm, we have Ascaris lumbricoides, characteristics of nematodes. They have elongated and cylindrical bodies pointed at both ends. As you can see, their, their ends are pointed. They are closed, or rather, they have a closed circulatory system. Gaseous exchange in those organisms occurs all over the body surface. They have a complete digestive system with both the mouth and the anus. Some are parasitic and others are free living organisms. Those are the nematodes. Phylum annelida. This one is made up of an organism like this one, which is a leech, and another organism like this one, which is an earthworm. When you look at these organisms, they have ringed structures around their bodies. That's why we call them ringed worms. And these are the examples, earthworm and the leech. Characteristics of uh, annelids we have First one, the body has three layers of cells. They have a true column. They have a closed circulatory system. Gaseous exchange occurs all over the body surface. They have a complete digestive system with both the anterior and posterior openings. Phylum Echnodermata. Organisms in this phylum are called Echnodermus. Examples of Echnodermus we have starfish and Bristol star. Characteristics of these organisms they have unsegmented bodies, they have radio body symmetry, their bodies have five arms. The body wall has three body layers of cells. They have feet for locomotion and capturing the, f the food. They have spiny skin. As you can see, the skin is spiny, having things like hooks, uh, which is a hard plate. They have water vascular system instead of bloody circulatory system. Phylum mollusca. Organisms in this phylum are called mollusks. Examples we have slug, we have octopus, we have a snail. Characteristics of these organisms octopus, snail, a slug, and others like a squid. They have soft bodies and unsegmented bodies. Nearly all of them have shallows except octopus and squids. They have a foot used for locomotion and attachment to the, to the substratum. Phylum Arthropoda. Organisms in this phylum are called arthropods. Now you can answer these questions. Define the term an arthropod. Name any two organisms. We can know that they are arthropods. What are the main characteristics of arthropods?
state the classes of arthropods These are the classes of arthropods. Have Meropoda, Crustacea, Arachnida, and Insecta. Class Crustacea. Organisms in this class Crustacea are called Crustaceans. State any four examples of Crustaceans. Outline the characteristics of crustaceans. Class Insecta. Organisms in this class are called insects. State any four examples of insects. Outline the characteristics of insects. Arachnida. Organisms in this class are called arachnids. State any four examples of arachnids. Outline the characteristics of arachnids. You know. Class Organisms in this class are called Meliopods. State any for examples of Meliopods. Outline the characteristics of Meliopods. Now, after doing that work, you can send it to me on my WhatsApp or on my email and the market. You can have this activity. This activity is going to classify invertebrates into their filler. Then after we shall draw or rather we shall construct a dichotomacy key. So you are given the following organisms. You have you have been given hookworm, octopus, lag, jellyfish, spongy, mosquito, spider, starfish, earthworm, sea anemone, crab, hydra, millipede, ascaris, snail, leech, bristoster, and locusts as you can in the picture here those are two organisms they have given you now in the as sort the organisms above into their filler and fill in the table below so where there is picture number just put the number of the organism the picture of the organism and then part b Construct the flow chart for any six organisms in the pictures using their observable characteristics. Thank you for watching. To mark your work, you can send it to me or in, in photo forms or another form you want to my email ngoriwaithiagmail.com or WhatsApp plus 256-757-5416-47.